last month spring announced that they have moved their spring native library which has been in development for a year or longer into beta phase this basically means we can leverage the spring native library in order to convert our spring boot application into a gral native image and leverage different ahead of time compilation features in order to start up our application within milliseconds in this particular video we are going to look at how to use spring native and then bring up our application within milliseconds within a containerized image let's get started press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primers so using the spring initializer we are going to create the spring native project so i'm going to use the 2.4.4 version of uh, spring boot so let's create a new project com tech primers i'm going to call this as uh, spring native example the dependencies which we are going to add are we are going to leverage spring web so i'm going to add the spring web dependency i also will be adding the spring native so if you'll notice it's mentioned as experimental so i'm going to leverage spring native so right now i'm using a bare minimal hello world program because in a spring boot world hello world program usually takes like 300 to 400 uh, memory space right and then it used to take a lot of time to start up right it used to be in seconds now they have claimed that it will be in milliseconds so we are going to look at that uh, by leveraging just spring web for now so let me hit the generate option i'm going to use the java 11 um, uh, runtime and i'm going to package it as jar so let me hit the generate option i'll open this with intellij and let's so the project is loading in intellij let it load uh, it's going to download all the jars i guess i think it's good now good so we ha just have the bare minimal spring native example which we added i'll just add a quick uh, hello controller so that we can just hit an endpoint to confirm that it's our class or it's our application right which is getting invoked so i'm adding a rest controller with hello as the endpoint also i'll add a get mapping to return a string for returning hello youtube done so we have added a new endpoint uh, let's go to the pom xml and then look what's happening there so we have an entry now here for the spring native dependency we also have plugin entries which are addition to what spring boot generally has there is a spring boot maven plugin which now supports image options here so this is going to use spring boot build packs so that it can create a lightweight containerized uh, native executable right also we are going to add the ahead of time compilation maven plugin which will create the graal native image right which will be in, within the uh, whole container this is going to help us in improving the startup time because we are, are going to do ahead of time compilation during the build phase itself generally we do a maven clean install using the uh, maven uh, life cycles here so in in our case for building the image i'm going to leverage um, the task spring boot colon build hyphen image so build hyphen image is the task which the spring boot build plugin which we just saw had right so this is the plugin which provides that particular task so let me hit the uh, build option now uh, parallelly i wanted to mention that i have docker running here so this is required because when we build the image we will be building it as a docker image so i'm having docker ready so that the maven plugin uh, leverages the docker instance which i have so that it can build the image so see that our um, spring boot maven plugin has got triggered build image has got triggered right now the base image is getting pulled if you want to leverage a different base image you can change that in the bomb xml this will uh, point this is currently pointing to the uh, build packs of spring boot right now but you can change it to a different base image if you have them Finally, the build got successful. So let's look at the Docker images which are present. All right. So we got our uh, Docker image which we built, which is the Spring Native example. For some reason, it shows created users 41 years ago, but uh, it just got created a few minutes back. And the size of that particular image is 89 MB. Right. So 
that's that let me start this particular image so i'll do a docker run and then i'll provide the name of this particular image which is going to be spring native example i'll add the port number as 8080 so that i can get the same port mapping because within the application also it is 8080 i'll also start my uh, image name so the image name was spring native example colon 0.0.1 hyphen snapshot so that's it let me start this particular image and if you notice this particular application just came up within 0 0.067 seconds and let's hit the endpoint to check if this is really our application we created an endpoint uh, which was called as hello right so let me do a local host hello youtube so that's our application which was serving us traffic so which is perfectly fine so the application came up in 0 0.067 seconds and this gets converted into 67 milliseconds right because this is by uh, thousand right so this is into 1000 now so 67 milliseconds is what the application took so that proves the theory right uh, spring native has converted our whole spring boot application which used to start up uh, in like seconds into something which can start up in milliseconds right right now this particular image can start up in like 67 milliseconds which is huge leap it'll be interesting to see how this fares into the other space so I'll be looking to explore Spring Native in the coming videos to see how we can leverage Spring Native in the serverless world. If you want to give it a try, do head to the Spring documentation of Spring Native. Try it out yourself, build the image, let me know how it feels, see if it is relevant, if you can use it in any of your application and let me know how it has improved the boot up time of your application. That's all I have for this particular video. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.